Apologizing can never be a sign of weakness. Um, you can apologize in many different ways for many different reasons, not necessarily because you did something insanely bad. It could be you ran into someone it's like, oh, I'm sorry. Um, John Wayne said, and she wore a yellow ribbon, never apologize and never explain. It's a sign of weakness. Um, apologizing isn't weakness, it's more you realizing you've done something wrong. And it's you, um, there's many ways of looking at this. It's like, like I said, okay, you accidentally tap someone or, you know, you, you're you working at a restaurant and you mess up somebody's order, you know, I'm sorry, let me fix that for you. It's not weakness, it's more you realizing, this is my bad. They're not, they shouldn't think of it as like, oh, you're being weak, I'm gonna totally put you down because of this. In a sense of, um, looking at it in a different direction as like a significant other lying to you and um, you finding out about it and then it's like then they suddenly realize oh my goodness you know I messed up I'm sorry that's my bad that would be a sign of weakness oh, that would be some sort of sign of weakness um, because they realized I messed up, I knew what I was doing, and I did it anyways. Um, but to go somewhat against that, I feel like no matter what, no matter what anyone's done, no matter anything, People should always apologize. It's not gonna necessarily fix everything, but it could help make things better. Apologies aren't to, you know, change everything, everyone's perspective on things. It's just like you realizing that you've messed up. It's not really weakness. It's more of like, consideration, you know, for realizing what you've done and having to deal with what happens after that. All right, Alisa, I thought you started off with a clear statement of what your point of view was going to be, using that as your attention device, and then transitioning <coughs> to the quote pretty effectively. Then once you got to that point, I think you were a little bit stuck. You needed to have uh, a layout, a structure, because you've got a good idea, a point of view that you want to have, but you don't really sound like you know how you're going to advance that. And um, 
you have some ideas to talk about, but they're occurring to you sometimes while you're thinking in front of us. And other things I think you did think about ahead of time, but you didn't plan what you were going to say on those things. And sometimes you have to wing it a little bit. And the problem here is, is when you're winging it, uh, it there's a lot of hesitation. And that's the biggest issue that you have to worry about is your pacing. Because it, it, it feels like it's a longer period of time because the rate at which you're speaking is really slow. There are a couple of spots where you've got those awkward pauses where you're thinking of the next thing to get to. And as a consequence, it doesn't come across like you're in control very much. It feels like you were reacting instead of being the proactive speaker, the one who's telling us what's going on. It's, it's like we're watching you struggle a little bit with this. I thought that you did a good job on a couple of things. First of all, I thought you looked relatively poised even though you were struggling a little bit. You don't have nervous feet. Uh, your gestures, I think you've got some good indicators while you're speaking, so uh, that doesn't give away any anxiety. Your facial expressions need to be a little bit more engaged. I think when you get a good idea, you do a pretty good job looking at us and talking to us, but you're not always there, and sometimes you can just see on your face that you are uncertain about where you're headed. You yourself don't know where you're headed, and you're hoping maybe they won't notice, you know, that kind of thing. And I think you need to be a little bit more confident there. Um, at the end of the speech, it really feels like you just kind of finish instead of kind of summing up what your point was and and I thought that you kind of had a couple of examples here where there is a structure here. Let's talk about why it's important. Sometimes you need to apologize when it's your job. Sometimes you need to apologize when the other person is important to you. Sometimes you need to find a reason to apologize to maintain your self-respect. So don't, you know, you know, when John Wayne's character said this in the movie, I don't know what the context was, but you know what? He was wrong, and there are times when you need to apologize. You just kind of need to summarize a little bit and finish so that even if it was a little bit vague, we know what you were trying to say at the end, and you leave us with a stronger impression. And, you know, that's a good way to fake it sometimes. All right, thank you.